Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to Exploring the World of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today, I'm going to turn down my music because <laughs> it's really loud. And uh, yeah, guys, today we are in the Dawnbreaker, the War Within dungeon. I'm currently in a follower dungeon, as you can see. And there's a lot of chaos going on around me. The Dawnbreaker already left, so the lady keeps screaming, Get on the Dawnbreaker! Uh, it left. So, I don't know, I guess that ship has sailed. No pun intended. Um, now, before we begin, I gotta tell everybody, I gotta give you a huge warning. Blizzard has really, really captured down on uh, the War Within, especially for those who are breaking outside the map. So if you're if you're planning on doing OOB in the War Within, just be warned. Um, there is a lot of DC. There is a lot of uh, disconnects and just walls everywhere. So Blizzard really does not want you exploring outside their map anymore. But for some reason, they left this open right over here in the corner. So, as I mentioned before, we're in the Dawnbreaker map. Where I'm currently at is way over in the corner over here. Here's the entrance. Right over here, uh, there's a little spot where you can just drop right down like this. And there you go. You're basically already outside the map. <laughs> so... It's really that simple. Um, unfortunately, we can't actually mount up. So we're just going to have to switch our talents. Um, so I've been exploring this map a lot. And death walls everywhere. DCs. I mean, there's just so much. If you stay within this area, you'll be fine. Uh, if you go anywhere outside the map, you're going to DC. But I have found one place that I can get pretty far and then DC <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys that today and then I'm gonna let you guys figure out the rest and how you want to explore this map so I'm gonna head straight out this way as you can tell I'm heading out this way on the map um, and there's actually a spot that I did find where you can uh, break out of the map you can go through the wall and then uh, you can get to uh, the other side of Anskahet and um, there is a spot over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get up here. We're going to go this way. And then I'm going to show you a spot where you can, um, where I'm going to show you where I broke out. You guys might have a different path and maybe you guys are able to explore better than I can, but this is as far as I have Outside. currently got. Get to the dawn break. I apologize for the dialogue in the background. Unfortunately, I can't mute her unless I just mute all in game sound. All right, so we're going to head out this way, and there's actually a cliff where we want to get to is right over here. So we want to get on the back side over here. We're going to hit a wall. We're just going to place a pillow down. All right, once we place the pillow down, we're just going to walk through, and there we go. We're completely out of the barrier of the bounds of the map, and we're going to head up here. Now, once you come over here, you're going to want to head out this way. Uh, climb up here and then once you get up here this is where we're going to perform the glitch there is a little you know lip right here or under the cave spot i guess you could say where we can uh place our guy or should be able to hold on i'm trying to there we go we're going to lay down our sandbox storm griffin and then what we're going to do is we're just going to do our regular OOB style where we drink our Vicarral Drinking Horn. We're going to get back on our toy here. And then we're just going to jump out of the map completely. So there we go. We are completely like through the walls and outside the map. Now, like I told you before, unfortunately, you go anywhere outside this map, you're going to DC. So I think Blizzard has just got to a point where they're like, okay, we don't want you guys exploring. We're just going to DC you now. Um, but here's a little spot that I have found where you can use to your advantage. And I'm going to show you a couple of places here where you can actually go and uh, go explore a little bit outside the map without DC. Now, one of the neat things I do want to point out is you can actually see the elevator shaft going up in, up to the surface up here. So that's kind of neat. I haven't been able to get up to the surface yet. I've been trying to do that. 
Um, I'm sure I could use a couple of glitches to get up there, but right now I'm just going to focus on this. Okay, so what we're going to do is now it's a, we're outside the map. Um, we're actually going to head over this way. Just follow my lead here. And we're going to head into this crevice over here. And this is actually going to lead us into the other side of the map here. But be wary. You will be in fatigue. So do kind of act kind of fast here. Uh, we're going to head out this way. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to make our way out this way. You can ignore your followers. They're going to be over there anyways. Now, you can go as far as you want out here um, until you hit like right around the edge over here. Then you will, you'll DC. So if you go outside, anywhere outside the map, like I told you, past the whole, like into here, into here, into here, it doesn't matter. You're going to DC. I have not found a way. So this is the only thing I have completely found. So you're going to jump down here and you're actually going to go through this wall here. And then you're just going to stick to the right side. And that will allow you to kind of shimmy along the wall. And once we do that, we're going to head out this way. And we're going to get to the other side over here. And there you go. As you can see, we're already above the Nerubian city over here. Um, in here. Um, but if you drop down there, you will die. Or you'll DC. So it's one or the other. Um, but as you get over here, the really cool part about this is that uh, you'll be able to make your way over here. And then you can actually get over on these over here. So once we get over here, we're going to make our way this way. And you can actually walk through the wall over here, which is really nice. This whole wall over here is like... Get to the Dawnbreaker. Sorry about the lady yelling, get to the Dawnbreaker. <laughs> It's not really much I could do, but yeah, you come out here. There we go. And then you should be able to just jump straight through this wall. It's all hollow. Uh, should be. There it is. And then you'll notice you're in water. So this is actually in the retail version of the game, but this is as far as I have gotten in order to get up. And you can actually go all the way up to the top here. Um, we can get on a, can we actually get on a mount here? No, I guess we can't, huh? We might be able to use our stingray. Nah, okay, so mounts just aren't allowed here, unfortunately, because we're in a dungeon. Normally you can do it in raids, but they just don't allow you. Oh, and if you get fatigue, just swim back out. Get, you know, give yourself some time and then just swim back in. And there you go. You can beat the fatigue. But you actually get this awesome, like, shot over here of the uh, walls, like, outside. So if you come back out this way. Um, and you make your way back in. There you go. You can kind of see the crystal in the distance there. And you can get, a, get an awesome shot of the crystal if we can get in a little closer. Okay, there. It kind of disappeared. But you can have the wall disappear if you uh, aim your camera just enough. And then you'll be able to actually uh, make the wall disappear and you'll be able to get like cool shots of the crystal if you want like a cool wallpaper or something. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I mean, this is really all I have gotten with the Dawnbreaker. I'm going to keep exploring more and more on this map. I'm telling you, the War Within is no joke when it comes to doing OOB. So do this at your own risk. Like as always, do OOB at your own risk. Um, Blizzard is really cracking down on people when it comes to doing OOB. Especially with War Within. Uh, they really do not want you outside the map anymore. So they're just going to DC you and not even kill you anymore. So good luck with this one. Um, if you can figure out a better way to get out, I would love to know. Please share in the ATN community. Um, I'm very curious. But this is as far as I've gotten. And I hope you guys have fun with this one. We're going to swim all the way to the top here. Check this out. There we go. We're almost at the surface, aren't we? And there we go. We're actually at the top. We're going to get out of the fatigue for a minute. So we don't die. I know this is like actually in the normal game, but it's still kind of fun just to do this on the out of bounds. It's normally you're never supposed to be out here to begin with. Um, now this is all solid wall right here, I believe. So I don't think you can actually go out past here. 
Yeah, this will stop you. Um, and that's where we actually dropped in from, remember? So if you go back in there, that will take you back into the Dawnbreaker map. And you can drop back down here. This is all a hollow wall. So you'll just completely drop down here. But yeah, guys, there you go. That is how to break out the Dawnbreaker uh, my way. <laughs> you guys might have a better way than I do. Uh, this so far, that is what I have found. And I hope you guys have fun with this one. Um, I know this wasn't a very long video, but I just kind of want to keep it short and sweet because I still need to do some exploration on this game, uh, especially with this map. And I need to kind of figure out these War Within dungeons a little better. I'm definitely going to have videos for you guys to break out of and show you, but it just might take a little bit of extra time with these War Within dungeons. So, but good luck, guys. Have fun, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. Take care.